Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is the Fastest Tyrogist and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. This is episode 12 I believe and basically uh, at the end of the last episode I went ahead and I sorted out a bunch of my stuff. Now basically here I'm gonna keep the food stuffs, here I'm just gonna keep the burial certificates. Here I have my huge collection of uh, body parts basically. Some stories, exhumation orders, ashes, salts, some shit like that. Then if we step outside and if we take a look at this chest over here, this is where I keep my stone and wood. And if we take a look over here, this is where I keep my iron. So I have plenty of iron parts, which is nice. And if we take a look at here, this is basically all of my uh, farm stuff because I just can't seem to remember to plant to actually create a farm over there and I do believe in the last episode I also got the advanced smelting and we're just going to research the steel thingamajig okay now all that is left is to wait for this one to finish so I can demolish it and then we can build up a furnace and basically, in order to do this, we're just going to also use the teleport stone to head on over to the dead horse. And we're basically just going to go ahead and trade. And yeah, he doesn't have anything I need. Uh, we're basically just going to have to leave here. And we're just going to look around a little bit, you know, see what, who we can trade and whatnot. I do believe that this is like... Yeah, we have the potter here. Who knows what sort of exciting goods he will have for us. Yeah, he has a bunch of ceramic bowls. So basically nothing special out of him. But the blacksmith should have some nice goodies. And I will want to buy a bunch of stuff from him. That much is true. Okay, trade. See, he has a bunch of stuff that I will... That I basically always need. And I just want to unlock his second tier. There we go. Okay, soon. Basically, it's good to just to trade with them once in a while because you'll end up with a bunch of stuff that you're eventually just going to need. Okay. I know that there are other people around which, uh, with which I can trade. But I'm just going to go ahead and visit the farmer and that'll be about it, trading-wise. Because I just want to, you know, plant a bunch of stuff. Uh, carrots, mostly. I'm gonna need a lot, of, lots and lots of carrots for that. For donkey. <coughs> oh, good, we can actually buy some carrots right away. That should actually help up. Oh, nice, he's actually unlocked all of the, all of the p tiers here. And we can actually get some carrot seeds then. Okay, pumpkin, lentil, seed, onion seeds. And we can buy some wheat from him. And pumpkin seeds. Well, basically that's all I need. And now we can just fuck off back home. Just like that. And this should relatively be finished. Okay, um... Uh, let me just plop in all of this in here. There we go. And let's plop the iron in the iron. It's always good to have a bunch of nails and simple iron parts as well. Because that can then be turned into a bunch of other sh shit that I basically will need later on. Okay, furnace number two. I will need two pigskin paper. And I will need eight complex iron parts. 
So for the pigskin paper, that's really not a problem. We can create that almost immediately. I'm just going to need a bunch of skin here. Which I have because most of the people I wanted to bury in my cemetery are just rejects. So that's really good in this case. So two pigskin paper coming right up. Okay. Looks like I'll be able to get four of them. And, ooh, we also have a bunch of this stuff right here. I'm just gonna put two pigskin paper in there. And I'm just gonna focus on the iron parts for now. That is the complex iron parts. And let me just... Okay, uh... Yeah, I wanted to put the skin in here. And it appears a body has arrived. Let's actually take a look at it. Perhaps it'll be worth burying in the cemetery. But I guess we shall see. <laughs> I wish I could clear up this place a little bit, you know? That is clean it up a little bit. Okay, let's put it on the preparation table. Uh, this one might actually amount to something, we shall, we shall soon see. Perhaps it'll be good. One, two, three, four, five. Five pure white skulls. That is even more than enough. Okay. And perfect, we're just going to wind up with this one. Let's go. Just plop it in there. I'm pretty sure I don't have the regular. Yeah, I don't. I just have the fences. So I guess I'm just gonna put up a fence there and that'll be it. There we go. Well, you know, two points ain't that bad. We're gonna add a bunch more as soon as we pop on a uh, headstone. But right, what I wanted to do actually was just head on up here. And... Oh, okay, perfect, that's done. Alright, uh, I got the pigskin paper. Let me just... Remove that out of existence. And I don't have enough coal, which is a problem. I totally forgot about coal. But that will do for now, I guess. Okay, for Furnace 2, I will need 8 complex iron parts. And I do believe I have... Yeah, I do have enough. <coughs> right, the Astrologer. Can't really forget about the Astrologer. If I forget about him, I'm basically fucked. Okay, let's build the Furnace number 2. Hmm, okay. There we go. This furnace will be much, much stronger than the last one. I believe so. There we go. Let's actually plant everything fuel-wise. Okay. Yeah, I can smelt two of them. Which is nice. I can also smelt... Create that and that. So let's actually... Oh, perfect. I'll be able to smelt everything at once. Okay, what do I need for an animal type 2? I need two steel ingots. So we're not gonna be fucking with that anytime soon. Let's actually put some flitch in there. And some stone, and the rest of this I will divide appropriately. So let's put in the iron scraps in there. The burial certificate in here, and let's head to the lighthouse. I will find where the lighthouse is this time. There we go. And let's just do that. Okay, nice. 
Uh, let's just use the teleport stone then and teleport to the dead horse. Now I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's where I am, the village, camp, beach, yep it's not up there, and it's not up there, it's not across the hall here, so it has to be all the way over here to the right, it just has to be there. Oh, and it is night time, so that's something I should watch out for. You know, because of the zombies and vampires and man bats and basically a bunch of other shit. I can see we're here, all the way up there. So I'm guessing I should head down here. Then over here. The lighthouse should be around here then. Yep, here it is. This is the lighthouse. <laughs> there we go. Hello, are you the astrologer? Okay. Uh, okay. Mm hmm. No, okay, I can do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, teleport stone, use it, go home. <sighs> Fucking knew it. There we go. Yeah, it's on a cooldown. Might as well... Well, that's five burial certificates. I think I'm just gonna hold on to them for the time being. Yeah, this is just on a massive cooldown. I think I'm just gonna craft a uh, tombstone. Like so. A stone cross, a gravestone too. There we go. And I have a feeling that I'm missing something, something quite huge. Uh, I'm supposed to bring him the inactive key, I think. Because I will need help with that. Then I'll need to wait for a snake, and that should be in here. Yep, instructions for the key. Okay, and let's just use this to get to the lighthouse. There we go. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. In the soul, and then you will find yourself absolutely lost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, what happened to him? He just disappeared. Okay, what's his name? Gary. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah. Okay. Well, okay, perfect. I need your help back. Okay. Let's head to the... Well, to the church, basically. Now we got his instructions. We got the key. I think we... We'll actually be able to progress the plot a couple of notches here. Which is just dandy, in all honesty. Uh, it is the Keeper's Key with this instruction. Okay, Keeper's Key. Perfect. Bam! Active Key, Keeper's Key. Okay. 
I guess I can open this up now, or do I need to wait for snake? Active key, keeper's key. Okay, looks like I'm waiting for snake. Which is a shame, in all honesty. I thought I would do at least something. Prayer for repentance. Well, I don't have any faith left. So there will be a grind by itself, but my church is a popping, so that is also good. Who knows what exactly I will need for the bishop. I can actually check that. Uh, donkey. Yeah, four quality fish fillets. Perhaps I can buy that from the merchant. Okay, so basically... Uh, uh, ta -ta -ta. I will need... Uh, we'll need to unlock insects here. There we go. That way you can actually harvest uh, a bunch of things. But I'm just gonna take the easy way. There we go. Let's talk to him. Uh-huh. There we go. Mm-hmm. There we go. Perfect. All I need is a rod. There we go, mods. So basically you need to give him six mods for a fishing rod or purchase it for two silver. But you also have a bunch of quality fish fillets that you can just buy from him. Okay, here we are back home. Let me just check if everything is all right. It is. Okay, I think what else we can actually do is just, you know, get uh, some skin in here. And, you know, just get the meat. And we can actually package some meat for sale because why the hell not? Let's have some packaged meat here and there. Okay, let's just generally have more, uh, what you might call it, just regular paper. There we go, and I will need clean paper for that. And I don't understand why it's called pigskin paper when it has nothing to do with pigs. That just, uh, thing I noticed. Okay, clean paper. Yeah, let's actually start with 20 of them. And what else did I actually want to say? Right, it's actually approaching fate day. We got the fish fillets. We got a fishing rod that we can buy for two silver. Two silver isn't a hell of a lot of money, but, you know, it can be in some circumstances. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for the body here. Okay, for this I want steel parts. While we're waiting for that, I just want to get the Master Gatherer and the Gardening thing. And of course the... Compot Heap, that's another thing. Let's actually get Grape Farming as well. You know, it's always good when you have a bunch of new technologies unlocked. Especially if they're the farming kind. Now, what does the skull want? Uh, the skull actually has some wine. That is, the skull wants some wine. I'm just waiting for a body. And speak of the body, there's the body. That's just perfect. Let's plop it in here. Oh yeah, this one is getting buried. Which is just fucking awesome because I was really hoping for some meat there I go three six whole motherfucking skulls 
this bad boy is getting buried so fast and so hard he won't know what hit him. And I was just about to say that I'm running out of room here, but that's not exactly true now, is it? Okay. Do, 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 do. And let's actually put a gravestone on you right away. I will need another... I will need more gravestones to actually put in here. But I think I'm just gonna leave that for the next episode, because this one is approaching the end. But there we go, we're at 70, and tomorrow we will actually hold the service.